Currently we are here at the Romeo 5 firing area and here we have our batteries 9 missile squad situation. So that no one gets any wrong idea how we are using our squad. So currently we are like in training positions. Normally our squads are not as tightly grouped as we are in here. Normally the squads are like 5 to 10 kilometers away from each other. But now for training purposes we are all in really small area. Like from our southern, most southern squad to our most northern squad is like seven to 800 meters. So currently what the guys are doing at the beach is training against air targets. And if I heard correctly while waiting for you, are, they are currently in CPR and like in chemical weapons threat. Oh. They should maybe have their gas masks on if it wasn't turned down by our commanding. Officer. The fire control position where we get our communications to our fire coordinator at the higher levels. Then we have one 12.7 heavy machine gun made in Russia. And then in the beaches you can see the RBS-70 missile system. And each squad has one of the missile launchers, one heavy machine gun and then one fire control position. Uh, we use VHF radios to contact our fire controllers at the higher level and then the communications inside the squad are done by shouting or by landline. So we don't need to emit any unnecessary, unnecessary radio transmissions. So we are harder to see in the electronic warfare situation, in the electronic warfare picture. And yeah, as I said, currently the guys are training to fight in CB or N situations. But yeah, let's go see the fire control position. Inside the communications rack, there's a laptop that is connected to two radios. One is for the recognized air picture, where we get the information about the enemy hostile planes, friendly planes, and if there's some other targets in the area. And the second radio is for communication with the higher ops, where we can send each other messages or ready-made like readiness times, air threats, MCOM levels and such and in the front you can see the landlines that are connected to the missile launcher and the, on those landlines there's goes the talk that the fire controller and the missile firing guy can talk to each other and also there goes the data so the fire controller can see where the missile is pointing at at any time and he can adjust it more precisely to meet the target in the sky. The only power that this squad needs is done through the one, one generator that provides the squad with 0.9 kilowatts. The 12.7 millimeter heavy machine gun made in Soviet Russia in the 1980s, 1990s. Uh, the squad uses it to close in air targets because the missile has a minimum arming distance of 500 meters so we cannot shoot any targets closer or if the targets come and the missile is being reloaded at that time then we can engage the target with the heavy machine gun and also we use the heavy machine gun for ground targets if some ground threats appear to our squad gas operated belt fed Maximum belt length 50 cartridges and fire rate is around 660 to 720 shots per minute. It has a holographic sight on top which has different sights for air targets and ground targets. If you want you can look through it so you get a better understanding. The ground targets are the ones that are more higher up the crosses and then the air targets are the like lines that go from side to side there. 